Uh, Sean Cottrell at a Fernie Fight Club. MMA is record four, four and two. Uh, Tim Tamaki, um, lots of fights, lots of experience. Um, you know, kind of a somewhat friend of mine, so it's going to be kind of a. So I were kind of sitting here laughing at the at the showdown, at the face down, but uh, it's all good, you know. So you know, I fought here in Tabor last year, and, and uh, yeah, the crowd's the crowd's receptive regardless, you know. So they they welcome me with open arms, and there's no real big bad booze or anything like that, but it's all good. Sure. Bring your game face, Tim, and uh, it's, it's going to be a good one for sure. The next fight is brought to you by DB Design. This fight will be fought in the Rumble in the Cage 155 pound division and is a professional bout contested over three five minute rounds. Coming down first in the blue corner, an independent fighter from British Columbia with a record of three wins and no losses. He weighed in at 156 pounds, Sean Cottrell. We are up to fight number eight here at Rumble in the Cage 43. I'm Marty Basita, joined cage side by Brad the Bonesaw Cardinal. Our next fight on GoFightLive.tv here is a professional bout at 155 pounds. Coming out first from Fernie, British Columbia, Sean Cottrell. Sean Cottrell, heavy handed striker out of Fernie. Like I said, those guys in Fernie are tough. I don't know what they're doing down there, but they're turning out some animals. And it's been a little while since uh, Sean has been into the cage. His last recorded fight that we have here is 2008. So a little cage rust perhaps. What are his thoughts, do you think, going in, getting back into the cage for the first time in a while? Well, it's going to depend on how he trained for this fight. Um, ring rust affects everybody a little bit differently. Uh, if you're sparring hard all the time, sometimes it doesn't affect you as hard. But it'll be interesting to see tonight. And this is a guy who we've seen at Rumble in the Cage before. In fact, his, his last fight was a victory at Rumble in the Cage. 30 over a man we'll see later on this evening. Spencer Rohovi, a submission guillotine choke victory. If you can submit Spencer Rohovi, you must have some pretty good ground games. Yeah, Spencer Rohovi's ground is good. So if, if Cottrell got a submission on Spencer, we're in for a treat tonight. My name's Tim Tamaki, trainer of the Canadian Martial Arts Center. My record's 11 and 23. I'm fighting Sean Cottrell. I know he's a tough guy. He's a brawler. He likes to slug it out. His style is lots of power punches and just brawl. My style is exciting everywhere. I train every day, just like everyone else, else at the CMC. I'm just waiting for the crowd to get crazy and pump me up, and so it's awesome. So I hope, hope it does. I just love fighting. It's the best thing for me. Coming down now in the red corner from the Canadian Martial Arts Center in Lethbridge, Alberta, with a record of 11 wins and 23 losses, he weighed in at 155 pounds, Tim the Chin Tamaki. Well, if you've been a fan of Rumble in the Cage over the years, this is a guy you've seen probably fight a thousand times almost. Tim the Chin Tamaki out of Lethbridge, Alberta. He's been in the sport for seven years as a professional. He's got about 35 fights under his belt. There isn't anything this guy hasn't seen in the cage. Yeah, Tim Tamaki is one of my favorite fighters to watch. He can and will fight anyone you put in front of him. I've seen him fight anywhere from 135 pounds all the way up to 175, 170 pounds. He's not afraid. He'll go anybody. He loves to fight. Strippers and body bags, zippers and violence and drugs Poverty, a bunch of minorities die in the club They say my music's making them lose and I ride it in blood This is my music for all my people missing my music I suspect this one may go to the mat, that is kind of Tim's M.O. That's where he likes to work, sometimes it gets him in trouble obviously But what are the keys for him to getting a victory do you think? Well, it looks like Tim's a little bit of a smaller fighter, so he may want to take it down. I'm looking at Cottrell, he's got a really, really big torso, really strong looking core. Uh, maybe take him down, work a little ground and pound, try and set up a submission. But then again, it's Tim Tamaki. He's got dynamite in his hands. You never know what he's going to do. And you should have seen these two guys at the weigh-in yesterday. Uh, you couldn't tell that these two are about to scrap. Uh, they're, they're very good friends, it seems like. Uh, very jovial towards one another. And they're going to have a lot of fun in there, that is for sure. So back to the
the cage with our announcer, Jeremy Ballantyne, to give us the official introductions. Once, once again, this fight will be fought at the Rumble in the Cage 155 pound division, and it is a professional bout contested over three five minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is an independent fighter from British Columbia with a record of three wins and no losses. He weighed in at 156 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, Sean Cottrell. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he is a Canadian martial arts center martial artist and comes from Lethbridge, Alberta. He has a record of 11 wins and 23 losses. He weighed in at 155 pounds. Tim the Chin Tamaki. Your official in charge of the action, Elvis Lyon. A fight at 155 pounds, 37-year-old Sean Cottrell fighting out of Fernie, BC, 5'9", 156 pounds he weighed in. He's a perfect 3-0 as a professional, up against Tim the Chin Tamaki, a 27-year-old fighting out of the CMC in Lethbridge, 5'8". He weighed in at 155 pounds. He's in the red trunks with gray trim, Cottrell in the camouflage trunks, and we're underway with Elvis Lyon, your official, in the cage. Left hand by Tamaki as these go these two competitors go toe to toe. Yeah, both guys swinging some big punches. Tamaki trying to work his way in. Looks like Tim's looking for the clinch. Jab by Tamaki. And oh. a big right hand on the side of Cottrell's face. The best blow landed thus far by Tamaki. Goes with a, a knee now and another and again. big right hand. And there it is. Tim Tamaki Tim knocks Tamaki. out Sean Cottrell. The chin with a huge combination, left, right hand, and Elvis Lyon stepped in to stop it. Wow, great job by Tim Tamaki. He stunned him with the first right hand, and the second one just finished the job. Katrill looks a little bit stunned. Sometimes when you get hit, you don't realize you've been dropped, but again, there you go. There you see the respect. Two guys putting on a show. Tim Tamaki. who doesn't have a lot of KO victories to his credit. Teed off on him, a couple of right hands to the temple, and that was about it. Great job by Tim Tamaki. Just his third TKO victory of his long career as him and his friend Sean Cottrell shake hands. This one didn't go as long as perhaps we may have thought, but a nice finish there for Tim Tamaki as he gets the technical knockout victory The big right hands from Tim Tamaki stops this fight over Sean Cottrell. Back once again to cage announcer Jeremy Ballantyne for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the official results are in. Your winner by technical knockout at 44 seconds in the very first round, in the red corner, Tim Tamaki! And that is a very popular Victory here for all the fans in Tabor at Rumble in the Cage 43. Tim Tamaki, a CMC veteran who's been fighting a long time, a fan favorite. As our very own Brad Cardinal will have a couple words with the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Tim Tamaki. Tim, it looked like you stunned him with a right hand, rocked him a little bit, wobbled him, and then you finished him off with the right hand. Tell me about, tell me about your win. I just like to stand up there and brawl and give a good fight for the fans and I don't mind getting hit and I like to throw my right hand. Exciting fight, Tim. Congratulations.